All right, everyone. Uh, welcome to today's charting session. Uh, sa mga hindi pa po nakakaalam, what we do here is we typically look at either yung mga trending names na list, and we get that list from Investagrams, no? So if you use Investagrams as your charting provider, charting software, you usually find that list somewhere on the right-hand side of your screen. Tumatanggap din po tayo ng mga chart requests. So kung meron po kayong mga requests, please feel free to post them in the comment section below. Kung meron po kayong mga tanong, please feel free to post them there as well. I promise I do get to everything. Minsan lang talaga hindi ko nakikita agad, no? Okay, so today, as promised, we'll be continuing our discussion on MEDIC. Um, sabi ko nga, this week, we'll uh, give greater focus to MEDIC. Uh, para in case nagtataka kayo ano yung mga pwede nyong gawin, ano na nangyayari, eh, lagi kayong up to date. Okay? So, we'll be looking at the 30 minutes chart similar to what we did yesterday. And again, the reason for that is, number one, uh, dumami naman na yung candle. So, I think it's safe enough to look at this as our quote-unquote higher time frame view. Also, since humaba na ang trading hours natin, mas madaling nag-fill up na ngayon yung 30 minute candles compared to before. Okay. So, yesterday, no nag-usap tayo about dito, uh, nandito tayo no, sa green candle na to. Okay? Nag-close tayo at 1.53 and pinag-uusapan nga natin na nag-mock up siya. It was supposed to be at 1.5, tapos on close na push up siya sa 1.53. Okay? At tapos ang sabi ko nga noon is we're looking kung ano mangyayari the next day. Sabi natin usually kapag ka nag-mock up, uh, na fill yung gap in one way shape or form. Although, syempre, may mga exceptions pa rin to that rule. Hindi nyo pwedeng gamitin na hard and fast rule tas magagalit kayo kung hindi kumana. No? So, nag-open tayo at 1.5 exactly where we were before we mocked up. So, ito yon yung candle na may pink na X here. Alright? Tapos, what happened next? From here, we pushed up. We came back ulit dito sa area of consolidation na yan. Dito sa sinabi natin kahapon na area of resistance na linagpasan lang dahil sa mock up. Doon tayo na untog here. Then from there, we push down. Okay, we push down there. Tapos what happened? When we broke below tong 1.47, next candle, we came back and tested it from beneath. Okay, as per yung usual na pinag-uusapan natin na typical uh, galawan ng price, no? We tested support from underneath. It held. Then we push lower. Okay, we push lower here. Uh, just let me bring this to the front. I actually don't know why it's not to the front. Okay. We push lower here and closed at a new low at 1.41. Okay. If we look at yung 5-minute time frame, ganun na naman. We were trading at around 1.46. Tapos on close, and nag -mock down tayo. Again, similar to yesterday, it wasn't a severe mock down. Okay. 5 cents lang naman. And we can expect na there's a chance na ma-fill na naman tong gap na to moving forward. Okay, but again, that's not a guarantee. So that's something that we'll be watching out for tomorrow and on Friday. No? So na-close tayo on a new low, 1.41. But even had we close around 1.46, we would be hovering around yung new low na na-form ng candle na to, which was at 1.45. Malapit na malapit doon, no? Okay? So... Based on this, on this specific time frame, tuloy pa rin yung downtrend natin. Again, I know that I don't have to draw it out for you guys. Kitang-kita nyo naman na downtrend siya even without me marking things out for you. So what do I want to see from here? Okay, at bare minimum, I want price to at least retake na tong 1.52 na area. And even then, I wouldn't be fully confident. But at the very least, we can say na, oh, baka nagtatry siya na lumaban na. Kung maritake tong 1.52 na area, then we can expect na price might consolidate within this range here. Diba? Trade between 1.52 to 1.57. Then if mabasag yung 1.57 as we discussed yesterday, mag open up tong range na to, which is from 1.57 hanggang 1.64. Okay? Then from there, kung mabasag yan, 1.7 next. And if we can break that, perhaps we can come back and target tong 1.84 na high. Pero as always, wag po natin pangunahan yung sarili natin. Okay, let's take things one step at a time. Ang ginagawa lang po natin dito is planning out possible scenarios para handa tayo kahit ano man yung mangyari. Now, what if, let's say, di ba, nag-mockdown nga. Let's say tomorrow, mag 
fill yung gap, tapos bumagsak na naman. Pag nag-break na naman tayo na 1.41, then mukhang tuloy na naman. We might print new lows again heading into Friday, lalo na notorious yung uh, market natin na statistically, lows tend to come on uh, Fridays. no? So, kapag ka ganon, we might print a new low by Friday. Kung sabihin natin from here, 1.41, price pushes up, bumalik tayo na 1.45, mauntog dyan, tas mag-push lower. Then, structurally speaking, di na talaga maganda, no? As always, kung meron kayong signal na mag-buy using whatever system that you're using, then of course, by all means, you should take the trade. Dahil syempre, system nyo yun, pinag-aralan nyo yan. Alam nyo yung ins and outs ng ginagawa nyo. But for me, personally, um, there's no need to come barging in sa ganitong type of trade. I would rather be more patient and wait for things to set up para uh, it will be more geared towards my favor if I do end up deciding to take a trade in this particular issue. Okay? Uh, next, tignan po natin ang RLC. Sorry. Okay? So, RLC, as we discussed, uh, there was the possibility na mag-form nga tayo ng some type of head and shoulders here, no? And so far, parang ganun nga yung nangyayari. Price came back, tag yung lows, eto, di ba? Yung resist, yung uh, resistance natin around 18.5, 18.8 na area into this area of previous consolidation tapos we rolled to the downside. Uh, should price continue, mabasag natin tong 17.3, then baka bumalik tayo sa area na to. So 16.8 to 7.3. And if mabasag pa yan, then we might come back and test tong area of previous consolidation na to sa white zone. Okay? Pero kung nabasag yan, the issue is nabuo na. Kumbaga, confirm na yung head and shoulders pattern mo. In fact, some would even say na, ah, pwede kang maglagay ng trend line dito if we break beneath that. Then, confirm na na nag-break yung head and shoulders pattern. And of course, I'm not gonna begrudge you kung ano yung mga napag-aralan nyo. But for me, yun nga, kung nabasag tayo to the downside here, meron pa tayong mga supports dito. And if mabasag yan, honestly, it's not gonna look good. It might not be the best idea na sumalo pa dito sa area previous consolidation just because it's gonna look very bearish kung umabot tayo doon. Okay, ano naman ang bullish scenario? If RLC can come back and reclaim tong 18.8 na area, then that opens up the possibility na we start trading between 18.8 and 19.5. Tapos kung mabasag natin tong 19.5 na area, then that opens up this range here from 19.5 to 20.2. Okay, and, and, and so on, no? Kung nabasag yan, may mga high style dito, and dyan, and so on. Okay, so yun yung bullish scenario niya. Then, na-describe na rin natin yung bearish scenario. Right now, uh, wala pa, no? Price is undecided. Yes, it's looking a bit more bearish than bullish, but we can't honestly say it kasi nandun siya sa gitna, eh. Diba? Uh, kumbaga, it's in chop. So, since price is in chop, mahirap tayo mag decision kagad. So, I would rather wait and see how things play out before I decide whether or not to jump in dito sa RLC. Okay. Uh, moving on, let's take a look at dito. Now, uh, mamayang 8 o'clock, na I realized late na nga tong video na to, pero may mas late pa ng konti, I am releasing the dito SRO video. No? Um, I talk about kung bakit late ko siya rinilis. Diba? Uh, panoorin nyo na lang. And some of the details that I'll discuss here will be covered ng mas mabuti doon. So please do watch it later. No? But for now, ano nga ba nangyayari dito? So looming na yung SRO ng dito, and since ang laki ng band ng SRO niya, technically speaking, hindi rin makapag decision yung market ko. Ano ba talaga ang gusto niyang gawin? Okay? Naglalaro lang tayo sa area na to kasi nga, ang laki ng band, ang laki ng price band, hindi pa alam ng mga uh, participants ng market ko ano ba talaga gagawin nila. Do insiders know? Maybe, no? Hindi natin alam. But regardless, most of us don't know. Hence, the market is reflecting that. So, ang pinakamasasabi lang natin based on pure technicals is right now, we are ranging here. So, that's somewhere between 4.8 to 6.32 na area. No? We are ranging in this area and until something changes, mahirap magsabi kung ano nga ba talaga ang dapat natin gawin next. Kung mababang mababa yung pag-price ng SRO nandito, baka magulat na lang tayo na price follow suit. Okay? Bumaba tayo, basagin natin itong 4.8, then we'll see from there where it, what it does. Kung mabasag ang 4.8, 
Then, ang next range natin will be from 3.92 to 4.8. Okay? With possible overshoots hanggang dito sa 3.5. Kasi nga, uh, technically, this is an area or a range of supports. However, kung mabasag naman tong 6.6, .6, then the next possible resistance natin is 7.5. I don't think na you can actually predict right now which one is more likely kasi nga may possible fundamental event or fundamental driver that could cause price to go either way pa. So baka mas maganda maghintay muna. Ngayon kung kunwari nakabili kayo ng dito, dito sa pinakababa, let's say na ganon, just be sure na to mean ano to uh, keep your discipline, 'di ba? Stick to your trail stops. Kung hit na yung trail stops nyo, di wala na. Kung hindi pa, edi eh, tuloy lang asay, ano? Tuloy lang, hold lang and so on. But for me, usually kapag may ganyang overhanging, um, I like to wait for more clarity before making up my mind. Again, if you want to know more about yung upcoming SRO ng dito, the video is coming up shortly. Okay? Be sure to check back in a bit. Uh, next, check po natin yung chart ng Aldi. Okay, so may mga nababasa ako sa mga Facebook, sa mga Twitter, ganun, na yung Aldi naging Aldi daw. No? <laughs> Wala lang, sorry. Medyo tito na tayo. Natatawa na ako sa mga tito jokes. No? So, based from this, okay, sa daily time frame, there's really, there's really not much else to do. Price is trading beneath SRO price. Now, I realized na noong unang labas ng Aldi, ang dami nagsasabi na, oh, ano to, quintuple ceiling, quadruple ceiling, triple ceiling. We didn't even hit double, no? Kaya mahirap talaga na minsan mag-trade ng mga IPOs kasi sobrang sugal, eh. We have no real data to lean on. So, nagiging quote-unquote gut feel yung pag-select ng targets. Lalo na, Kapag ka ganon, maraming nag-hype, maraming nagpupush, di ba? Parang nakaka-fomo lalo. Now, in this specific instance, I am sure na marami rin nagsasabi na, and they would be right, na wala naman nagbago fundamentally sa all day. <laughs> di ba? Totoo naman eh. Okay? And that, that's 100% true, no? But ayun nga, we have now fallen below IPO price, and I would be very careful of what to do next. Right now, Okay? Pwede nyo sabihin na, ah, bakas RSI oversold na, dapat pili na tayo. But as we all know, oversold and overbought markers are not really the best indicator na nasa bottom or nasa top ka na. Diba? Right now, I would rather wait and see what it does from here before making up my mind. Kasi we have to think then, even if this just turn around and bounces, there's the possibility na mauntog lang tayo ulit okay, sa high na to. Bakit? Kasi nandito rin to eh. May isa, ka, may isa ka rin low dito. So, itong area na to might act as resistance on the way up. So, if you check this in the 30-minute time, whoopsie, syempre hindi nakisama, di ba? Para daw mapahiya ako konti. If you check this in the 30-minute time frame, uh, after ko siya markahan na pwede na siyang makita sa 30-minute time frame, you will see na, ayun nga, meron tayong cluster of lows dito and high dito that could act as resistance along the way should price decide to push up. If mabasag natin tong range na to, then that opens up the possibility na babalikan natin tong mga 65 or 67 na area. But until then, or rather even then, okay, even then, it might not be the best use of your capital or your time. Baka mas maganda hintayin na lang natin na mas magpakita ng something positive tong Aldi before we jump in. Okay? For now, kung ako lang, uh, hindi ko muna to ipipilit. There could be easier trades in the horizon. ba? Depende sa kung ano man system nyo. So just go for that low-hanging fruit rather than forcing a trade where a trade might not be. Of course, kung meron kayong bottom picking strategy and you feel like maganda na tong bottom, then by all means, go ahead. No? Di ko naman ipipigilan, pera nyo yan. But for me, personally, I would rather wait a bit and see or better yet, just find other better trades to take. Diba? Uh, go for the low-hanging fruits para hindi ko pinapahirapan yung sarili ko. Hindi na nga madali yung trading to begin with, lalo pa nating pahihirapan. Diba? Okay? So, Moving on, finally, tignan po natin ang asin. 
Alright, so let me zoom out a bit. Sorry kasi mga ibang tinitignan natin ng konti ng candles. Eh, no? So ano nga ba nangyari sa asin? Asin, uh, we've been moving downwards. no? So uh, we printed a high, low, lower high, lower low here. no? And a possible lower low here. Tapos kapag nabasag natin to to the downside, okay, for now ilalagay natin yung 9.66 as yung last level of support natin. If mabasag yung 9.66, then patuloy lang, nag-print tayo ng lower low. And we might come back and trade within this range here. Okay? If from here, however, we come back and retake 10.94, then that might reopen the opportunity to trade back to 11.62. However, uh, we have to consider na nagkaroon tayo ng konting chop dito, no? So, just because we break above 10.94, it doesn't mean na slam dunk na babalik siya ng 11.62. Kasi nga, nagkaroon tayo ng konting consolidation prior to price, price dropping again. And we can see na the first time back dito. So, the first time na umangat to, nauntog nga tayo sa area of consolidation na to, and then we did roll over. Okay, so something to watch out for lang na hindi just because na-break natin yan uber bullish na ulit kaagad. Okay? Ngayon, even if mabasag natin yon 11.62, may untog pa rin tayo 12.10, but if we can break above 12.10, okay, I think it would look a lot more bullish. Number one, it opens up this range here from 12.10 to 13. And then obviously, kung mabasag natin yung 13, new highs na naman tayo and wala na naman tayong harang to the upside. Okay? For now, nood-nood muna tayo. Konting patience lang. Sama-sama naman po natin itong tinitingnan. Every week natin binabantayan ng asin. So I'm sure na kung may developments, we will talk about it in one way, shape, or form. Okay? So guys, dito po nagtatapos yung video natin. I hope kahit papano ay may natutunan po kayo. I hope na enjoy nyo yung focus natin sa medic this week. Okay? And as always guys, maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood. I really really appreciate it. Good luck and happy trading!